Hi, this is City Notes, a hyper-local interview series brought to you by the city of Nicholasville, where you'll get to know local leaders, catch community updates, and hear about the latest happenings from City Hall and beyond. And today we're here with Doug Blackford, the General Government Director at the City of Nicholasville. Good morning, how are you? Doing pretty good, thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure, thanks for having me. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and what about it led you to public service? Sure. Well, I've been born and raised in Nicholasville, been here all my life. Obviously, I graduated what was then uh, Jessamine County High School. That was before we grew and had two high schools. And then uh, got my bachelor's degree at Moorhead State University. And I was blessed to come back home and keep roots in Nicholasville. As far as the public service, really, that was not on my radar at at all. It developed through, actually, I I helped some local candidates with races and, and got to talking to folks and through those conversations, one thing led to another and got to looking at the issues and said, hey, I'd like to be a part of this. And that was kind of the grassroots uh, start of, of me getting into the public sector. It chooses you sometimes, I think. <laughs> Without that, and I think that definitely happened in my case, for sure. And I think if uh, if you were to talk to anybody that grew up and knew with me, I think that they would agree with that. That just wasn't on my radar at all. Well, even though you haven't planned on it, you've had several different roles in public service, including time as a city commissioner. As your current role of Director of General Government, what does a typical day look like for you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a bit different than my role as an elected official. Of course, General Government Director entails uh, public safety, police and fire, uh, cemetery and street and roads. My day is basically a day-to-day operation with all the departments and then as well as our projects with our city, being out in the forefront and keeping those, trying to keep those on schedule and, and moving, as well as supporting the uh, local officials and helping them gather information on their specific needs to help them. Uh, Cause a lot of our local officials have careers outside of being a commissioner and or mayor. So uh, to be there and be that support for them as well. I know one of the big responsibilities you have on your plate, uh, so to speak, is seeing to the use of ARPA funds. And for those listening who aren't familiar, the American Rescue Plan Act, or ARPA for short, was signed into law in 2021, and it grants federal funding directly to cities and towns across the U.S. to help them rebound from some economic impacts like Mm -hmm. COVID. And Nicholasville was the recipient of those funds. And I hear we're putting funds to really good use. Yeah, we're, we're certainly excited to, to get to put those funds back into our community. We got, uh, the Nicholasville was awarded just a little bit over $8 million of ARPA funding. And they gave us quite a few different categories to use those in. And our elected officials, uh, a special projects group, got together and said, okay, how do we want to put these to use in our community? And we kind of took the health sector. And, and they grouped the health sector in uh, with our public parks and gave us an avenue to do that. And we really felt like that was uh, an area that uh, in Nicholasville and Jessup County could use in some enhancement in was with our public parks and, and providing more opportunities for both our, our children and our adults in the community. So we're certainly excited to put those funds into our public parks. The parks we're looking at is Ronnie B. We're, we're doing a complete uh, renovation of the aquatic center up there along with our colleagues at the physical court, going to get a complete uh, uh, makeover. It's a 20-year-old complex that had some troubles last year, so it's going to get a facelift and get a re-grand opening this year. We're certainly excited about that. We have also uh, earmarked uh, Lake Mingo Park on the other end of uh, town, up around the north end. We're going to uh, improve the walking track. It's going to get a resurface as well as be widened. It's a park that gets really a lot of use from, from folks going up and walking. And then we're also going to ask a splash pad in that park, kind of target towards the folks that live in that area for the kids to go and just uh, unwind a little bit on a hot summer day at a splash pad. So we're we're certainly excited about that. And then we've also uh, earmarked some money to uh, to complete another sports project up at John Priest Park with the uh, an outdoor multi-purpose turf field, along with we hope to get a community center under roof. Uh, in the next 24 to 48 months. That'll include some gymnasiums, walking tracks as well, some community centers for folks to, to have as a, to use for rooms for meetings and parties. So definitely excited about what we're, what we're using the ARPA funds for. We think we're putting those back in to the community for our residents. The, the other area that we targeted was our downtown business district. And we made uh, some grant money available for the down on the Main Street area, a lot of those buildings, uh, obviously, they're old. They're a lot of our history. And so we these grants are going to be used to, to refurbish those buildings and hopefully uh, attract some people to come down and, and, and set up business in, in Nicholasville on Main Street for us. 
feel like that the board really took a deep dive into the ARPA funds and said, hey, let's make sure we're putting it solely back in for our community. And, and so I'm, ex- I'm just excited about that. That's fantastic. I'm really excited about some of the upgrades, especially the parks. I love a good park and splash pads are always so fun. So I think you'll get a lot of good feedback from. Well, yeah. And you know, when COVID hit, it forced everybody, everything from the indoor activities was pretty much shut down. And what you could do was be outside. So we just, we, that's where we kind of took the health approach. So, okay, let's make sure we have those opportunities for everybody in our parks. That's a lot of stuff going on. So is there it any is. particular one project that you're most looking forward to? Well, I, I think as a whole, just the, the opportunity with our board uh, and, and also a lot of these projects we're working on with our physical court, uh, just the opportunity to improve some and give some much needed attention to our park system. You know, that's exciting. This is my favorite question to ask yeah. at the end of all of our interviews. Sure. But what Nicholasville person, place or thing has been an influence in your life lately? Oh, that's a great question. You know, growing up in Nicholasville, you know, you have roots here. And you, you know, there's so many folks that, that have, have had an impact. But I think for me, it's just a fact of growing up in Nicholasville, in the area that I grew up in, there was a lot of folks that were in public service, whether it be elected officials or, and helping out in our leagues. And so I had a great influence just in the area I grew up of folks giving their time to their community. And I, I think that was kind of in the back of my mind that, Hey, I had this example and, and this is what you should do. And, and, I, and I've been blessed to be able to serve my community. Well, Doug, thank you so much for your dedication and your service. And we're looking forward to seeing all the updates coming down the road. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your time.